Hey, my name is Ilmi. I'm a personal trainer. I believe in the workout. Eat right, move right. There's my dog. We can live vibrant life. I'm in this industry for last, what, over a decade. Personal training is expensive service. It's not just only once or one month. You continuously needed this. Maybe possibly two to three times a week. I went to this workshop with this very famous trainer. Because of what he does and I like he's famous for ladies comes to him talking about I have a sl slow metabolism telling actually what they are asking is not the advice they just want to tell them what are their excuses and he goes like this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then in his head you are not the unique sweetheart meaning not everybody has that condition maybe you didn't try basics foundations or fundamental meaning it the balanced meal has some movement in your routine. I want to show you when you work out, implement a few things. I work out with a spare feet. I can do that. It's because I work out at home. If your feet are restricted in the shoes all day, outside, inside, feet are not as flexible and your ankles are not as flexible as it should be. That cut down a lot of the power of balance. I want you to get up. <laughs> Pick up something from the floor. Where did you feel it? Did you feel your lower back? Now, watch your feet. Are they high shape or parallel to each other? Now put this, whatever object you up, put it down and get up. Did you feel less lower pressure? So that is medias gluteus. It's supported by the, your heels. High-shaped pose, you use your spine as a crane. Instead, push your heels out, stand up. You are using outside of your glute, which is your medius gluteus. So your butt is here, especially women. We want that to be in. We want it to be up. I use this. I use this. What it does is automatically actually pushing your knees out to use medius gluteus muscle. When you do this, and the power should be sideways. You're not stopping here. You're gonna stop it here. Sometimes that gives in too much, so I use my favorite one. And this tool is very helpful when you have a knee pain. When you go for high shape, it open like a pie. Pressures on the toes instead of heels and you're using the glute. But there are wide small squat stance. Toes out, your knees are looking at the same direction as your toes. Don't confuse the by it. Because my legs are pushing against the bed. People work with the same plan over and over and over again, year after year. Just mix it up. You don't need to change the whole plan. Let's say you started with the 12 reps of a body weight squat. Up, one and up. Now add weight with a little less reps. Go for eight reps. That is change on the weight and the reps. So you do that today, push workout. Then tomorrow, do pulling workout. And the next day, do leg workout. Change it up. Exercise is like damaging the fiber. So after exercise, body try to repair the fiber by fusing them. So that increase the muscle. You have to replenish it. To replenish the body, you need a delivery guy. You need a carb. That's where the carbs coming in. And also when you are working on zone two, remember zone two? your 60 to 70 percent of your max heart rate so some people say 65 to 75 percent of your heart rate just pick your stuff and work it 20 minutes to 40 minutes that's what i recommend it you can go on a 60 minutes there's no harm done that zone is body can utilize fat 
as an energy source. And weight training, I do five to six times a week. People recommend to do six times a week. So on two workout, you do it every day. Just walk around, vigorously tidy up the house. Your body needs material to make your work worth it of that one hour of workout. You don't want your body to eat up already existing bones and muscles. Replenish it. Used to be saying there's a window of opportunities. That's within two hours of uh, finishing the workout, you need to replenish it. I follow that rule still. Make sure you eat some starch carbs after workout. Half cup of a carb, six ounces of protein. Eat it with vegetables, one cup, eight ounces. Let's say leg workout, going down to squat. Where did you feel? Did you feel it in your tush or quads? That's your packing muscles and bones. In order to make a change from inside of your body, not just a skin dip, you need a little bit of a struggle. Last three reps has to be hard. Not just hard at dropping the weight on your face or your body. You cannot complete that set without utilizing your core. That, mm, making the face. Mm, that's the intensity you're looking for. At least last three reps on that set. That's too easy. You're kind of wasting time. If you want to make your body to change, you need to struggle. There's a lot of brain power. When you work out, you are not just using the muscle to push. You have to find the cues. Your trainer is telling you, saying, engage your core. You have to listen. You have to apply on your body. Squats. Knee hurts. Lift the toes up. Those cues you have to apply on your body. Your brain uses energy. I'm working out mostly every day. I kind of like it. Not the beginning of it because ah, oh, I have to do workout. I love that feeling of a pump and me struggling, breathe hard, stress out, or too much thought in my head. I breathe out deeply, help me declutter my head. But I think the most powerful thing for people who works out this every day, dealing with this uncomfortable voluntarily, put it in plan as a routine. How are you gonna compete that? Food for thought. For my workout, I change it up. I do some yoga, I do stretches, I do body weight workouts, as well as lifting heavy.